Morning! I hope you're doing really, really well. As you can see, I'm at home and I am smiling because I'm about to head out on my first bikepacking trip of the year. So it's been terrible weather in the UK, a really poor, poor winter, really. I think February was actually quite mild, but it rained pretty much every single day. Um, and I've been itching to get out and go bikepacking, but putting it off and off and off and off because of the weather and hoping for brighter days, it just seems like they're kind of not really coming. And I live in a great place for bikepacking. I'm near Dartmoor, where you can actually wild camp anywhere, not anywhere, in many places legally and there's lots of really good routes to choose from so I just figured I've got to get over this thing of waiting for the good weather and just get out there and enjoy enjoy wild camping so I've put together a kind of um, little collection of items that I'm going to take with me on this trip because I want it to be kind of cozy bikepacking rather than full-on light and fast. I'm going to be meandering my way through Dartmoor National Park, stopping whenever I want and I'll be cooking some meals in the evening and um, putting fairy lights in my tents. So um, watch on and I will take you through everything I'm taking, why I'm taking it and um, well yeah that's it. <coughs> So I'll take you through the bike setup in just a little bit because obviously it's hidden behind the table um, so I want to show you that but first of all let me just wheel that out of the way I am going to go through all the kit I'm taking where do I begin where do I begin should I start with what I'm wearing or what I'm taking um I always get like this I have these grand ideas for videos and then I sit down and start doing it and I'm like I should have planned this um let's begin with my, oh, it's quite heavy, my sleeping setup. Now, let's give this a, a little way. This is my tent, my sleeping bag, my sleeping bag liner, my pillow, and my air mattress. Let's see what it weighs before I unpack it all and show you. Blimey! Oh, it's in pounds. <laughs> I was like, 6.38 kilos. That's impossible. Someone's put it in pounds. Let me change it to kilos. So it weighs um, 2.8 kilos. And I will now unpack everything and show you what is in there. So I haven't gone for my most lightweight and minimalist tent, which is the Big Agnes tent that I've got because it could be quite windy up on Dartmoor. It's probably going to be raining. So I want something that's a little bit more robust. Therefore, I've taken the Alp Kit Soloist um, because although it's slightly heavier and slightly bigger, I think it stands up to the elements a little better. So let's get it out. I'm making a terrible mess of my lovely display here. Um, Here's the Outkit Soloist. I've bike packed with this a lot. I really recommend it. I think it was 130 pounds when I bought it. Uh, it weighs less than a kilo. It's fabulous, it's spacious. I can't recommend it enough. It's not my only tent. I've got other tents for other purposes, but for this trip, it is perfect. Also, this does fit in between my handlebars, so um, that makes it more versatile for packing with various different bike setups uh, rather than just having to have it in the saddle pack. The big Agnes tent that I've got has got quite long poles um, that don't fit between the handlebars, so that's the drawback with that one. Let me know if you want me to do a kind of bike packing tent comparison video because I've tried loads of them and I like that kind of thing. So along with that, I have got this Thermarest Neolite. Oh, let me unroll it and have a look. This is a new uh, Thermarest that I bought myself. My old one was over 10 years old and it's still going strong, but um, it wasn't as warm as this one. The technology was not outdated, but this new upgraded version, it isn't the lightest one that they do, but um, it's a lot warmer than my previous one. So it is the Neo Air X Lite NXT. And this is a lovely piece of kit, easy to inflate, very comfortable and um, crucially warm. So I can't remember what it weighs. I guess I could weigh it for you. Where's my scales? What? Ah, how do I lose everything? Oh, here. Oh gosh, 380 grams. So yeah, that's a nice piece of kit. Next thing I'm taking is this Outkit 
silk travel liner and this makes your sleeping bag just a little bit warmer obviously it's also meant to keep it clean but i'm taking it for extra warmth and then as my sleeping bag i have got this rab neutrino 600 i think this is the women's version which is slightly smaller obviously you don't want to get one any bigger than you need because you'll be carrying extra material material it's actually the rab neutrino 400 um, it's comfort rated to minus one with an edge of comfort at minus seven. So it's an ideal bag for year round use as well as a light one. Um, I originally bought this for bikepacking races. I have actually got a thicker, warmer sleeping bag, but it's really hard to fit into my bags along with anything else. So to compensate, I am actually taking a down jacket and down pants, puffy pants. So I can hang out in those in the evening and then sleep in them inside my bag if I need the extra warmth. So a nice little segue there onto my next set of items. So over here, I have got the kit that I will be wearing at camp. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get wet when I'm cycling. So I've got a whole set of dry, warm clothes to put on in case that happens. So beginning over here, I have got uh, this lovely seven mesh merino hooded long sleeve, a seven mesh hoodie, pants, socks, and always a buff. That is useful as a um, eye mask when you're trying to sleep. There's a kitten playing with my saddlebag. An eye mask when you're trying to sleep, also to keep warm, or as a hat, if you wanna look like a donut. But yeah, they're pretty versatile. So I always take one of those. And then these are the puffy pants from Rab. They've got um, hydrophobic down in them and they will keep me nice and snuggly. Over here is the down jacket that I'll be wearing, looking a bit crinkled. But um, with these two items and all my seven mesh stuff, plus my trusty beanie, I will be warm and cozy at camp, right? Bag. So moving on from all of this, let me show you the other items I'm taking. Uh, obviously, well not obviously, but I really enjoy making a meal in the evening when I'm bike packing, not just because I'm hungry and it's fun, but also because it warms me up. So I always take something hot to make if I can, but I also always have an option that you can eat without having to boil water in case anything goes wrong with my stove. So what I've got here is, first of all, I've taught George, stop it. George is using the litter tray over there. Why is he causing such chaos? George! George! You're such a monkey. Can you stop it? Brief little George diversion. So this is my Alpkit Thai pot. You can cook with this directly on your stove, although you have to be careful you don't burn your fingers if you're doing that. It's got a lid so I can rehydrate meals in here um, just with hot water, leaving the lid on. And what I like about it is, uh, oh, also, it's also got little holes in the lid so you can strain stuff that you've been boiling like pasta. It's just a really nicely thought out piece of kit because inside it you can fit a gas canister. So it's just really compact and nice nicely designed basically. So I've got some gas. I've also got another cup because obviously uh, if I'm having my porridge in this pot, I need a cup for my coffee. So I've got this little one. And this is my stove. It's the MSR Micro Rocket or Pocket Rocket, Micro Rocket, I think. I've also got a pot stand in case um, the ground is a bit uneven. Um, so yeah, you put your gas canister on here. Screw your stove on. Ah, sugar, waste all your gas. And then I have two of these little um, kind of lighter things, just in case one of them doesn't work because I don't want to be stuck without dinner. But yeah, that's my little stove set up. Ta-da! This is uh, what food I'm planning on taking. I might grab some extra bits, but this is a few things that I've already thought through. So this is a dehydrated vegan meal. It is dehydrated quinoa, sweet potato, ginger, miso, beetroot, 
I just need to um, rehydrate that with some boiling water in my little pot and I'll have a lovely nutritious meal. This was actually made by a brand that's sadly gone out of business. What a bummer, their stuff was really, really nice. Um, but uh, I have checked it, even though it's gone past its best by best before date and it's still totally fine. It's actually really delicious. So I'll be taking this. I've got some smoked almonds and some dried apricots. I've got instant oats with some extra spices and sugar thrown in, hot chocolate. I've got instant soup, ramen, oat bars, tea bags, instant coffee. Yes, I know everyone has to have really fancy coffee, even when they're in the middle of nowhere. Whatever, I've got instant coffee. It does the job. I just want something hot in the morning. And then I have got the world's cutest little chopping board. I've got a little Opinel um, knife and I have got my trusty Outkit Thai spork, which has also got a bottle opener on the end. So that's the, um, the cooking stuff. I will likely grab a few more bits and bobs. If I was going on a longer trip, I would take more food and I would pay slightly more attention to nutrition, although these aren't too bad. Um, but it's only gonna be a day or two, so no biggie. That's why I've also only got the most basic of um, self-care hygiene supplies. I've got a comb, I've got toothpaste, I've got a brush. I will likely grab um, a small pack of wet wipes as well, but I haven't done that yet. So that just leaves all the other bits and bobs. I have got foot warmers and hand warmers because weather. And then I've got a few electronic items and my tool kit and my first aid kit, which I'll now talk you through. This is one of my new favorite items. This will be in the tent. So this is not just a kind of light or torch. It's also a string of fairy lights and I, I just actually love it. So you can use it like this, like a normal light. You can also use this other, other light on the other side. I'm trying to remember how you do that. Hold it down. But the really neat thing about it is it's fairy lights and yeah, I don't care about carrying a little bit of extra weight if I can have fairy lights in my tent that double up as, you know, something useful. This is going to help me see in the evening when it gets dark because, you know, it's still winter. So it will, there will be several hours of darkness before I actually go to sleep. So these nifty little lights have got various different settings, different colours, flashing, not flashing. Um, but even without the fairy lights activated, you can use this just as a light in your tent. So... That's like my luxury, luxury item. For when I'm cycling, or well, in case I don't want to use that, I have got some exposure lights. This is the Diablo. I will be putting that on my bars. I hope I've got flat top bars, so it's always a bit of a, an issue mounting stuff. But yeah, I've got my exposure Diablo and I've got the React rear light that I have mounted using restraps little light mount that attaches onto one of your rear rack bolts. Show you that at the end. Navigating with a Garmin. I've got some cables and a plug. I've got my new favorite ear, ear plugs, I was gonna say, headphones. I like these because the battery life is enormously long and they hook onto my ears so I don't lose them. This is um, all my tools and spares and stuff. I will quickly go through it if you're not getting bored. Uh, I've got some Dyna plugs for repairing um, my tubeless setup. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I've got a Dyna plug. I've got a tube. Should I take two? Probably, I'll take another tube. Tire levers. I've got patches. I mean, I am running, running tubeless, but just in case. And then I've got CO2, a CO2 valve. I have got zip ties. Restraps, tire boots, kit. Uh oh. That's meant to have super glue inside it and it's missing. So I will deal with that afterwards. And then I've got a spare valve. I've got some tire cement and I have got a quick link. I feel like I'm missing something. <gasps> I know what it is. This is from PNW. They're quite a cool brand out of Canada, I think. But yeah, it's just a super minimalist tool. It's also got a little tire plug in there, so I quite like that. Um, and all that remains is to show you my little lock, which I just bought. This is from Hip Lock. It's a Z lock. It's got a combination lock thing. I did buy their other 
minimalist lock which came with a little key and I immediately lost the key so I've gone for this one it's not the most secure like I'm not going to lock my bike up in a city center and leave it for hours whilst I go shopping but this is just to stick on if I'm going into a shop quickly to buy some supplies so yeah that is the setup I'll just quickly show you my bike because I wanted to show you the little restrap light mount and I could show you the packs get off get off George get off stop George look seriously so here's the bike and the setup I've got restraps 17 litre saddle pack you could fit so much in this so that's where I'm going to be putting my tent and all my sleeping stuff I've got a restrap top tube bag and this sort of mini frame bag underneath obviously I'll have another water bottle down here too and then at the front I'm going to use restraps 17 litre or 14 litre bar bag depending on how much I can squish down my camping clothes I'm mainly going to put those at the front and then I'll sort of squirrel the food away and all these other bits and bobs and if I need any more space I will take restraps hip pack but that's all to be seen oh I wanted to show you the light mount didn't I so let me flip my bike around so this is the little restrap light mount that I've been sent you can actually bolt it into any M5 um, bolt so frame mounts are pretty good and then you can just attach your light mount like that and this goes on here good to go I hope you found this interesting let me know if you've got any questions about the gear that I'm taking or if you want me to do the tent review or any other kind of gear review um, always like doing that sort of thing but mainly I just want to get out and ride I just can't wait to go so yeah I'll show you the adventure when I get back bye